Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have a fun video for you today. I've arrived at Bayou Bandit, my favorite 18 hole disc golf course. Not to play a round of disc golf, but to test out these two putters here. Those of you who have followed this channel before know that the Nomad is my primary putting putter and approach putter whenever I play MVP Axiom Streamlined round. So this one, out of all the putters out of the MVP lineup, this has felt the best to me, and this is what, I, what I've trusted the most. Well, Simon just introduced the second disc in his Simon line. This is the Pixel, and this is a very similar uh, putter to this in that it's a two-speed. It's designed to be a little bit slower, but it's designed to be a little bit more glidey and designed more for putting as opposed to driving, per se. And so I'm gonna test these two out. Will the Pixel dethrone the Nomad? We'll find out in this video. Incidentally, they're not a sponsor, but H-Town uh, Disc Golf just opened up here in town, the north side of town. I know these guys, some of them have been on the Flippy Productions channel before. And so just let you know about this. As you know, I'm here to promote Houston Disc Golf. That said, let's go to the first station. Okay, before we go any further, we have arrived at station one, but let me show you the side profile of these two discs. Hopefully I can do it justice on the camera. You can kind of see how they look. They tend to have, this is a reverse, but you can kind of see here, let me put it like that. So you can kind of see very similar. Both have a slightly blunt edge. This seems to be, have a slightly more pronounced shoulder indicating this is a touch less stable than this. They both have a very slight dome that you can see. It's, it's almost flat, perfectly flat when it gets to up here, but it is slightly domey. You can see the slightly broader shoulder here. So just from my limited experience in testing these in the previous video uh, and my experience from using this, these are very similar in, in, in stability, but this seems to be a touch less, potentially a touch more glidey. But wait, there's more. I want to show you the difference between a Pixel and an AVR. Now this is a Halo Star AVR, but it's the exact same mold. It's no different. Even though it's, you know, Halo Star and it's black on the, on the rim, it is not any more stable than a regular AVR. You can kind of see when you put these next to each other, they're a little bit more on the domey sign, a little bit more of a pronounced shoulder. This is what my default putting putter has been. I'm showing you the Halo Star one because all my ones that are Pro and D DX plastic are fairly worn and, and I don't think that would give you as much. So you can kind of see they're very similar. Let's take a look at the shoulder profile. Again, you can see very similar. And now to compare a, a Nomad to the AVR driver, this is the beaded AVR. This is the one that's popular with a lot of the pros because it's a touch more stable because of the bead. And that's a little bit more what this was uh, built on. This is sort of a compromise between an AVR and an AVR driver. This is the AVR driver mold that's often used, uh, Casey, Pro, Casey Pro AVRs and such. But yeah, you can see they're also very similar here. And we'll give you the side profile. You can kind of see they're a lot more similar to each other, I would even say, than the to the AVR and the Pixel. So these are probably very uh, functionally identical. Okay, with all that said, we are approximately 110 feet from the basket per Bushnell. The reason why I'm choosing this as station one is it's a slightly elevated basket. By Bannon has a few of them, so each of my stations is going to be a different um, elevated basket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and throw the pixel first. I just want to approach 110 feet. Nice. Super floaty. Pass right under it. You can see they had a touch more stability at the end. We have a left to right crosswind, so both of them held out good. However, the Nomad seems to be a touch more stable in this preliminary finding. Okay, this Nomad is a park job. The Pixel is effectively just outside the bullseye. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put these in at the more interesting lie. First two putts of the day. Okay, we've arrived at station two. The base of that tree is 103 feet away from here. So the basket is roughly 105 feet. I'm just gonna try a slot hyzer with this Pixel and the Nomad and just see if I can get close. All right, right on the back side. That I corrected. 
Okay, we have two interesting lies. Let's go see uh, which one we'll take. Okay, we've arrived at the first of the two lies. The other one was 15 feet away in a, in a straight shot. So I'm gonna try the more interesting one that's 20 feet out and uh, not quite as aligned as the other one. Oh, I had a yip. Let me retry without the yip, hopefully. There we go, much better. Okay, we've arrived at our next station. This is 115 feet from the basket. I believe these are decent enough for, you know, short range approaches. And I've made this one difficult for a backhand, so we're gonna go with the forehand on this one. All I wanna do is get close enough to that basket to have a putt. Okay, that's really good. Let me get the Nomad. Okay, I'm back. I uh, forgot which putter pocket I put this in. I thought I lost it, which would have been weird. All right. Well, you know what? That's really good for me, so endorsed. Okay, well, to be honest, this was probably one of my best sidearm approaches I've done in a very long time. So that said, we're gonna take the more interesting lie. Let's try the Nomad. Hey, we're gonna practice straddle putting. Okay, we've arrived at the last station. We're approximately 100 feet from the elevated basket. The wind is going that way. <laughs> so this is gonna make this a little more challenging. I think I'm going first with the pixel for the most part. So I'm gonna change it up and go first with the Nomad here. We're gonna go backhand. I forgot to call the trick shot. I totally meant to do that. So even with the amount of wobble that I have, I was able to produce two not terrible shots. We're not gonna talk about that first one. Okay, do not adjust your set. Now I'm gonna try some forehand throws. Let me just see if I can get close. Starting off with the Nomad again. That's pretty good. Let me see if I can go a little bit flatter with that. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Decently stable, both within about 10 feet maybe. The pixels maybe 10 feet. Okay, yeah, these are both tap-ins. I wouldn't really consider these that interesting putts. And the Nomad was right over there that, oh, from the first backhand throw. So yeah, these are tap-ins. I'm gonna go set up over there so we can see what a more challenging putt is like. All right, so here's the mini, I basically use this as a mini and threw it over there. So I'm just inside 20 feet. So this, I do actually practice approaches 100 feet and in. So uh, I haven't really been able to come up with a more challenging lie. So maybe I'll do some additional practice one. Let's try with the Nomad. Both great. Even though I deliberately threw those a little high, they caught and landed in just fine. Part of it helped that I wasn't putting very hard. So what can I tell you about these just before I start my practice putting here? I'm gonna start at 15 feet, work my way back to the edge of C1. Uh, these are both very similar. Uh, this does have a noticeably taller like shoulder, like you can feel it, uh, you know, come up more than this. And when you look at the profiles, really once you get past this slightly larger shoulder, they both are completely flat on the top. So there's definitely some more aerodynamics here that I think would uh, make this glide maybe a touch more than this. But I think the slightly plat uh, flatter profile, you know, the shoulder not being as pronounced, plus the slightly larger micro bead, uh, you might say it's more of a bead than this is. This is more of a micro bead, the way it feels. This is more of a, a somewhere between a micro and a regular bead. So maybe a mini bead. So they both feel very much the same. Now let's do some practice putting. Wah. Going back one foot at a time. I think I'm gonna change things up. Pixel first. Yay. My friend Wyatt is here. We're gonna play around together. So these will be the last two putts. <laughs> of the video.
Wah. Of course, I've got to end on a banger on a missed one. All right, so that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Got a lot of support from people uh, making the videos, particularly from the MVP Axiom Streamline crowd. So thank you very much for, uh, for uh, subscribing and liking and commenting and all that kind of stuff. We are going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. Please like the video. Please comment and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.